hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel well you guys know what today is it is friday fragrance review day so we are going to go ahead and review the fragrance from bath and body works this is pumpkin apple cider as you guys can see i've used quite a bit of it this month or this week um i had when i started i wanted to say i didn't use very much of it so when i started it was right here but as you can see i definitely went in this week with this fragrance so that's a good thing and a bad thing, but I'll leave that during the part of my review that needs to be there. Okay. Sorry guys. My lips look like shit right now. I just got done eating, so I apologize for that. Anyway, so the fragrance notes are this for this are very basic, short, sweet, to the point, pumpkin, apple, cider. There you go. Those are the fragrance notes for this fragrance. Alright guys, so the this is the only items that I have in this fragrance. This is one of my little like one item things because when this was out, this was the only thing that I got in it. So I don't have a shower gel in it. I don't have a lotion or, or body cream or anything. So this is just one and done, you know? So the best time to wear this fragrance is definitely fall, winter related. I would probably stick more to fall time, but because of the review, um, I'm working it out in the winter time. I still think you could get away with wearing it in the winter time. It's still pretty, you know, musky and fally, so I think you could still do it then. Um, fragrance lasting hours on this. Guys, I'm going to be extremely brutal. You know how I am in my reviews. I am nothing but honest. So the fragrance lasting hours on this was really not the best. It was about three hours long, three hours. And the projection was anywhere from light to moderate. Um, it was light, but if you wanted it to be like more moderate heavy, you literally have to spray the entire bottle on you. So not the best, but yeah, three hours for um, the hour time and longevity is going to be light to moderate. Best time to wear this fragrance. This fragrance is definitely best suited for daytime wear. Um, I don't know, you could wear this during the night time if you're going like night grocery shopping or something like that. I think this would be a nice one just to slap on or whatever. It's pretty. I do like the scent. I like it a lot. That's the problem though. You have to wear, you have to literally bathe in this to keep any kind of scent on you. But I do like the scent though. Just wish it lasted longer. So my conclusion for this fragrance as far as <clears throat> the packaging is concerned, I love the packaging. I think it's very... Very cute, very fall-esque, very, you know, October, you know, November and stuff like that. So, um, for packaging, I'm going to go ahead and give it a, like, 7 out of 10 because I really like the packaging. I think it's really pretty. As far as the longevity, the performance, what you buy a fragrance mist for, um, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10 because the longevity just wasn't there. In the hours, for 3 hours, not very good. So, 3 out of 10 for longevity and performance anyway I'm actually I'm still happy to have this in the collection I do really like the fragrance so I'm not mad about that but yeah I just wish it lasted a little bit longer all right guys so that is my review for Bath and Body Works pumpkin apple cider when did this come out I can't even remember what year this came out. let me see okay this came out in 2016 so this is a relatively older fragrance but it's pretty nice okay guys so that concludes my fragrance review for Bath and Body Works, like I said before, um, the pumpkin apple cider. All right, so I'm going to call my daughter in here so we can do the next card pick for next week's fragrances. So sit tight, and I will have her here in just a moment. All right, guys, we are now ready to do this next pick. My daughter's here, so and she's wearing her snuggie. <laughs> you can't see it, but it's like a little like a blanket shirt thing she got for Christmas. It's way cute, though. Show lift your arm a little bit so they can see it it makes it look make her sort of look like she's wearing a muumuu -moo. and let me show you i mean it's, it's, it's warm it's, really it's warm. like a little blanket she got it for christmas that's kind of cute it looks like a muumuu -moo, though <laughs> <laughs> muumuu <-moo. laughs> you're too too don't need to be wearing muumuus okay sorry about the light change guys i don't know what's going on with here sorry anyway okay here we go <laughs> so these are the next ones that we have i have one two three four five six fragrances to get through for and that will conclude the fall and winter portion of my perfumes so we're gonna go ahead and shake or shake <laughs> shake it shake it lose a card can you get that for me please vanessa i'm throwing things okay 
I'm just going through these cards here and seeing what we're going to pull. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm just dividing them up and stuff. Okay. So let me show that. All right. That's enough. Nari, Vanessa, you get to pick. Okay. Whatever you're doing my videos making me laugh too much. Yeah, I know you do. Okay. All right. What is it, Vanessa? Pumpkin, pecan, waffles. Ooh, show the camera. All right, so next week's fragrance review is going to be for pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath & Body Works, guys. That's awesome. This fragrance I got in 2021, so this is definitely more of a newer fragrance to my collection. Um, I'm really excited to um, start this fragrance. I think, what, we have like a week or two um, for the rest of these fragrances until I start getting into my spring fragrances. All right, guys, so after March 21st, I will start doing the spring-summer um, portion of my fragrance reviews. I hope you guys are looking forward to those because I know I am. I'm ready to start rocking like the fresh, clean scents and stuff like that. I'm definitely ready to bring on spring and summer. All right, guys. So I will check you guys out next week for this fragrance review for the um, pumpkin pecan waffles. And I'm super excited because I already have a feeling. I know how this is going to work. All right, guys. I will talk to you next week. I love you all. And catch you later. Bye.